controversy in the Detroit mayoral primary election. A Lansing judge has ordered the State Board of Canvassers to stop certifying the election results. As we know, Mike Duggan is set to face Benny Napoleon in the November general election, but which is the front runner? That's still in question. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner is live at Cadillac Place where the retabulation has been going on, apparently almost finished, but now it's stopped. Jim, what's the issue? Steve, it's the same issue we've been hearing this week, and that is can they actually handle the ballots, the write in ballots during this retabulation? This lawsuit was brought by D. Etta Wilcoxon, who is a candidate for city clerk. The fact that the state of Michigan has absolutely no legal authority to come in and open up transfer canisters to take out ballots to actually physically handle and count those ballots. City, county, and state election workers were almost done packing up the ballot transfer cases this afternoon. They finished reviewing and retabulating close to 400 Detroit City precincts. That's tens of thousands of write in ballots. They did what they said the Wayne County canvassers should have done. Though so the remedy that's under the law is go look at the ballots and see what they say. And that's what we're going to do. It's that simple. We found out on Tuesday the chair of the Wayne County Board of Canvassers stood by the legal advice they were given. We have never looked at ballots during the canvas portion of the, uh, of the elections or of the primary. We have always simply done the audit trail. Now the Lansing judge has stopped everything until a hearing next week. The courts as a general proposition, do try and protect the process, but not people, but the process. So we're hopeful that the court will say uh, that there is some way for Detroit to get some point of resolution, but it's going to be a judicial determination. Now, the State Board of Canvassers' work is not done. They were set to be back here on Tuesday to certify this election. Does it stop everything? I called the Secretary of State's office up in Lansing that oversees elections. They say they haven't seen the judge's order and cannot comment at this time. Back to you. All right, Jim, two questions. How long is it going to take to resolve this mess? And is there any chance the outcome of the case can change the fact that it's going to be Napoleon and Duggan on the ballot in November? It all depends on how many ballots are at stake. We were hearing the number 18 to 20,000, so that number doesn't change the top two facing off in November, but it's going to be up to the judge. And this was entered this afternoon ex parte, meaning only the one side. Attorney General Bill Schutte could step into this tomorrow. He could take some action that could derail all of this, but right now it's set to go before this judge, 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon up in Lansing. It's always something, Jim. Thank you very much for the live report.